the last NBA topic we have is regarding another big man who somebody who many people believe is better than Cat. However, because of his health, I'll take Cat any day. Anthony Davis. People, you know, we talked about it last week. Big news networks are stealing our thing, saying Anthony Davis needs to be traded. And now they're saying LeBron needs to be traded. But it started with taking our Anthony Davis thing. It was the odd couple with Chris Broussard and Rob Parker that brought this up. They said that if the Lakers were to trade Anthony Davis, their thought, they think the best trade would be Anthony Davis to the Miami Heat for Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. Because it was originally supposed to be just, it was Anthony Davis and Bam Adebayo was the rumor. They, the odd couple, the guys on the odd couple said that that wasn't nearly enough and that you'd have to put Jimmy in there as well. I don't know where this huge idea of Anthony Davis has come from. Like, I understand Anthony Davis is amazing. Like, he's, he's, he's very good. Nobody talks about him the way that they talk about a lot of other superstars. Like, if, if another super, uh, like, a, like, the way that people are talking about Damian Lillard right now. Worst player on the NBA, all 75. Most overrated player in basketball. But because he's never been able to go deep into the playoffs, uh, he only leads to regular season success, which is exactly what Anthony Davis had in New Orleans. And except Damian Lillard, this is the first time he's ever really had a long-term injury. And and so, like, I don't get why people think Anthony Davis is worth, you know, six first-round picks. I don't, I don't understand why Anthony Davis is worth a Jimmy Butler and a Bam. Yeah, New Orleans Pelicans AD when he got traded from the Pelicans to New Orleans, like, yeah, like if you want to set the precedent of an like a, a superstar value, it's three first. It was three first round picks and three former first round picks. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, and Anthony Davis didn't really have long term health issues in New Orleans, um, but yeah, you get you get him to LA, and now it's like you your team is so old, you have no assets. You know, it's it, almost desperate. Like the Lakers want to win a championship. I understand that. Like LeBron wants, they want to win another championship with LeBron. But like once LeBron is gone, you are, you have no window. No. You have no plan. No, nothing. You have no window, no plan. You, That's you, why they refused to gone. trade that first round pick with John Wall and Russ. Yeah. Because everyone's they had gone. to have something. Yep. Yeah. I remember texting you and I was like, I have an unpopular opinion. I was like, I would trade AD. And you were like, dude, I was just thinking this. Yeah. Like I was yeah. just, just thinking this. So I would have shopped AD. I would have done a Westbrook for wall trade. I, pr what, I probably wouldn't have included the first round pick. Um, no. But, but you got to tell me you have some other asset that you can move and get John Wall. Or, like, you know, be like, we won't give you a first, but how about two seconds? Like, yeah. is that okay? Like yeah. I, would, I would have tried to get Westbrook for Wall, um, and I 100% would have been like, "Who? What can we get for AD? Can we get?" If you could have gotten Bam and Jimmy. You do that in a heartbeat. Or you do it in a heartbeat. Like you just. Yeah. I think I there's know. no way. I, I I think Jimmy Butler is the one who's most upset about that trade because Jimmy goes from a team that actually like, is built the, around. Yeah, and why would they do? Why would the Heat do that? They're like third nope. in the third in the East. Because so. the Heat the Heat feel like they're one piece away, and apparently there's issues with Bam. I don't know if it's off court, on court, whatever it is, but apparently Bam is the piece that they want to shop. I don't I I don't know if I were them, I'd probably try to shop Hero because. I think yeah. he's overvalued. But anyway, uh, yeah. And then the other the other trade they mentioned was Carl Anthony Towns. We were just talking about him. Uh, same two in the same conversation after bringing up Bam and Jimmy, they said, how about uh, AD for Cat? And then Broussard, Chris Broussard said, you'd have to get more. It'd have to be more than just Cat, though. And I'm sitting there like, uh, no, it'd have to be more than Anthony Davis. Yeah, absolutely. Like, why would the Timberwolves mess up their Correct. current young core that's doing well for somebody who's probably not going to play for them and has both the same amount of playoff experience and proof as Cat yeah, does? Yeah, we are, we, are, we are two and a half games, uh, two and a half games away from Denver for a playoff, like, Absolute, like absolute, absolute playoff spot. All right, without having um, to do the play. And we are, we are basically guaranteed. Like, as long as we go 500, we're guaranteed the seventh slot, which means we just have to win one of two games to get into the playoffs. And the Lakers are like on the verge of getting out of the plan. Why would we? Why would we do that? Why would we do that? <laughs> I don't think they would. And so I thought well, that conversation our best was it's, it's, it's not like, yeah, it's that overvaluing of AD. Like it's it's that huge yeah. overvalue. It's not not only do people not watch Timberwolves games, but 
everybody thinks AD is just some miraculous, one of the best big man of all time. Maybe we are overvaluing Cat. Like, we very right. well could be overvaluing Cat. Sure. But yep. every fan base is going to overvalue their players. So, like, if these are Lakers fans, which I'm, I'm assuming, like, Broussard is, like... They're, they both currently live in L.A., I believe. So, yeah, they're, they're overvaluing their own player. Like, I, I, I understand that. But, like... Either that or New York. One if of them they weren't, like, if they sure. like, if we're talking about Westbrook and Wall, which we're not, we're not Lakers fans. We're just basketball fans, and we have basketball knowledge. We can look at that trade and be like, yes, the Lakers need to do that to get better. Sure, even AD, AD for Jimmy and Bam, like that's a hard loss. I I, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I thought those trades were dumb. That's really all we have for basketball talk. I think Anthony Davis is overvalued. If I were the Timberwolves, I would have asked for more. So if the Lakers ask for more, just, I mean. I would have asked for probably a lot more. Like, Cat's like three years younger than AD, too. No, thanks. I'm, I'm happy where the Timberwolves are.